All right. Welcome, everyone, to the 2020 OpenZFS Developer Summit. Uh, I'm Matt Ahrens, and uh, I'm here to, in, to welcome you all for being here at the virtual OpenZFS Developer Summit. So uh, we couldn't, oh, let me get my slides working correctly. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't be here without the work of a lot of people that are helping to make this project possible. So uh, I'd like to give huge shout outs to um, Karen for project management, helping to make this, pro make this uh, conference happen. She's talked to uh, a lot of you participants and uh, sponsors, and also thanks to Victoria for event management. Uh, if you uh, sponsor the conference, then I know you talked to Victoria. She made sure that uh, we got all the money, you got all the um, benefits of sponsoring the conference. Um, and thank you to Pavel and Paul. They're going to, you'll see them a lot more today, uh, helping our speakers to stay on time and also um, helping them to hear the questions that you have for them. Uh, thank you, Aaron, for uh, graphic design. This cool graphic logo that you see next to it for this year's conference uh, was designed by Aaron, and he designed the graphics for many of our conferences in the past. Um, if you don't know, uh, if you don't recognize what that uh, little thing is in the middle, um, it's a it's part of the emergency warning system uh, in, here in San Francisco. Uh, so we wanted to bring, uh, we, since we couldn't all be here in San Francisco together, uh, we wanted to bring a little bits of San Francisco to you uh, wherever you are. So those are like four little speakers and every week uh, they have like a, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system uh, that you hear all throughout the city. So uh, we're here broadcasting the conference to you uh, from San Francisco. Uh, and also thank you to Prakash and Ali uh, for help with uh, all the technical details, making sure that things run smoothly um, and, and making sure that Zoom and YouTube and everything work right. Uh, let me, I wanna just move something, technical details on my end. All right. So uh, next, I want to thank our sponsors. So we couldn't make put the conference on without our sponsors. Um, first off, big thanks to our diamond sponsor, Delphix. Fake round of applause. I know you all are helping me out. Okay, help me out, uh, folks from OS Nexus. Oh, actually, let's try this. Uh, anybody on uh, Zoom? It, do you have a little raise your hand button? If so. Uh, yes, I see people raising their hand. Okay, so now the question is, do I clear? How do I clear your raised hands, or how do you clear your raised hands? Oh, you're clearing your own raised hands. Awesome. So uh, we usually do this at the conference when we attend live. We say like, hey, uh, folks from this con from uh, our sponsor Delphix, please stand up so we can all say hi and 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 thank you and welcome you. Um, let's have everybody from Delphix raise your hand so we can say hi. Awesome. I see. Six, at least six people raising their hands. Awesome. Thank you, folks from Delphix. Um, and thank you for playing along, everyone. Uh, next, our platinum sponsor, OS Nexus. Folks from OS Nexus, can you raise your hands? I'm looking for them to raise their hands. Maybe they didn't hear me. Okay, awesome. Thank you, OS Nexus. Uh, next, thank you to our gold sponsors, Datto and Open Drives. Folks from Datto and Open Drives here? Yes, I see you raising your hands. How can I tell? Should have tested this a little bit more beforehand, but there's got to be some way for me to see. Oh, yes, I see who has their hands raised. Thank you, Paul, Stu, and other folks. Um, and next up, thanks to our silver sponsors, Argo and Dillowas and IX Systems. And thank you to our bronze sponsor, FreeBSD Foundation. Raise your hands, folks, from Argo, IX, and FreeBSD. Awesome. I see four or five hands up. Thank you very much. Um, and I wanted to take another moment to just thank all of our sponsors. I know this has been a tough year in terms of the pandemic, in terms of uh, you know e economic uncertainty. So we, re we really appreciate all of our sponsors sticking with us uh, this year. And they're really gonna, their, their continued investment in the project is gonna make this conference possible to continue for years, on, for years and years to come. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we are also in the midst of a election uh, e election season here in the United States. Um, I would like to remind everyone to vote. Uh, registered, you, you still have a chance to register to vote in most states. Um, I have voted here in California uh, by mailing my vote. Uh, please vote. 
please uh, vote for candidates that you think will take the pandemic seriously so that hopefully we have a chance to meet in person next year. Ah, okay, now, thank you to everyone uh, who's making this possible. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the overview of the state of the project. So uh, last year, uh, I talked quite a bit about what's gonna be coming in OpenZFS 2.0. Uh, and the big thing is that we, uh, we've now combined the source code for uh, OpenZFS on both Linux and FreeBSD. And uh, last year I talked about how this was going along really well. It's gonna come out in 2020. It is still gonna come out in 2020. So uh, this project is, is very far along. We've released um, three release candidates so far. It's on 2.0 RC3 right now, just came out last week. Um, and the final release will still is still on track to come out before the end of the year, uh, possibly even before the end of the month. Uh, please don't quote me on that, but uh, that's 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 what we're aiming for. Uh, and uh, here are some of the features, new features uh, that you'll see in the next release of OpenZFS. Um, so this uh, basically is superseding the uh, ZOL releases. So this is stuff that's new since ZOL 0.8. Um, and uh, this is a continuation of that code base, but now with support for uh, FreeBSD as well. And uh, most of these, uh, a lot of these we've given talks at previous conferences about. Um, so things like, you know, all, all this performance work, um, redacted send and receive, uh, and, and there's a few that you'll hear about later today. Uh, persistent l to work sequential recivering that you'll hear about later today. All right, so uh, what is coming? That's, you know, 2.0 is, like it's almost done. What's coming in the future? What do we look, so what we plan to do is have approximately yearly releases uh, of OpenZFS, yearly major releases. So uh, hopefully we'll see OpenZFS 3.0 by the end of 2021. Um, and uh, there's a lot of new features that uh, we're looking at in there, which you'll hear about at the talks, um, hear more about in the talks today. Um, and also uh, Jorgen Lundman, Jorgen Lundman uh, it has something that he's he's hard at work on adding uh, Z, uh, OSX or macOS support to uh, the common code base. So hopefully next year we'll be talking about OpenZFS 3.0 for Linux, FreeBSD, and macOS. Uh, so uh, hopefully you like what you hear today, uh, and if you want to uh, you want to hear more uh, live about OpenZFS, uh, we have monthly leadership meetings. So uh, where we're talking about, you know, in progress features, uh, what's almost done. Sometimes people come and talk about like projects that they're working on and to get feedback. So that it's it's more informal than this conference, obviously. But the next meeting is going to be uh, actually exactly one week from today, next Tuesday, October 13th uh, at nine o'clock in the morning. And the times for that rotate. We do it every four weeks. Uh, we do it at nine o'clock and uh, at uh, one o'clock Pacific time. Awesome. So a uh, couple more notes about today. Uh, we have a, uh, so this is a professional uh, invi professional meeting, uh, even though we're all standing, you know, in our, in our spare bedrooms, uh, possibly wearing pants or possibly not wearing pants. Um, th uh, this is a professional meeting. We have a code of conduct. You can see it on the web page. If you have any problems, uh, please let us know. You can see our email addresses there. If you have technical problems, uh, Prakash is there to help you. How can you reach out to us? Uh, you can email us with the addresses that you see there, or you can find us on the OpenZFS Slack channel. Uh, if you registered for the conference, uh, I think before Friday, then you should have gotten a, uh, an email inviting you to join the OpenZFS Slack channel. Um, and uh, that's available to, to find individuals and also just for kind of general chit chat, if you wanna uh, chat with other folks or find speakers after the conference, um, all the speakers uh, are on the OpenZFS Slack as well. Uh, so a couple notes about today. Uh, the agenda is on the website, so you can see what time the talks are going to happen. Uh, we're also going to be having these breakout sessions in between talks. So uh, during, normally during the in-person conference, one of the things that I love is just running into people in the hallway and saying, hey, how, how's it going? How are you? You know, How are your kids? How's that project that you're working on? Um, we wanted to get as close as we can to that. Uh, so. Uh, during the break sessions, we'll have these 20 minute breaks and then a longer break for lunch. Uh, during those break sessions, we'll have several uh, Zoom conferences that you can join, each one hosted by uh, either a speaker or somebody from uh, a prominent member of the community. 
to facilitate discussions just around, yeah, hey, how's it going? Or, um, you know, how's that project? Uh, so you, uh, if you registered, you should have uh, links to the Zoom meetings for those each breakout session um, in your email. Uh, and then at the end of the day, uh, so it, we have, uh, I think, about five or six hours of talks. Then at the end of the day, uh, at around three o'clock, uh, we'll have like a big group, everybody come hang out and uh, like show and tell, you know, sh uh, ha have a drink, show us your beer, uh, show us your kids or your cats or whatever, just hang out and have fun. Uh, and then tomorrow, so this is a two day conference. Tomorrow we have a few more great talks for you um, about work, about works in progress. Uh, and then we have a hackathon. So we'll spend most of the day uh, working on little projects and then we'll have presentations and awards at the end. So uh, the, um, the point of the hackathon is to have some time to work on stuff that you might not normally get a chance to, and especially to work with people that you don't normally get a chance to. So uh, at the beginning of the day, we'll do some organization. We have a bunch of Zoom rooms and uh, you'll be able to meet up with other people that are working on projects that you're interested in uh, over Zoom. Uh, and uh, there's a spreadsheet uh, that has ideas linked into there. So uh, check out that spreadsheet. It's linked from our webpage, from the conference webpage um, for ideas that people have already ad added. Maybe you wanna jump onto that or if you have your own idea of something that you want to work on or you maybe you want to see other people work on, uh, go ahead and add it to that spreadsheet.